Well then, let's get started. Today, we're making labyrinths. Like a labyrinth building competition? Yep. I'm gonna build my own labyrinth, then try to clear Mikey's, while Mikey builds his own labyrinth, then tries to clear mine. My labyrinth is gonna be so fun! I'll build it over here. Let's go! Okay. That's your spot? Yep. All right. In that case, I'm gonna build mine further away. I'll need a lot of space for my labyrinth. I'll be over here if you need me, Mikey. Okay, let's get to work. No slacking. This'll be fun. I can't wait to find out what kind of labyrinth he's gonna build. Cause I'm gonna give it my all. My material of choice will be iron. There. Awesome. I want my labyrinth to look something like what I have here. What shape should I make it? It won't be a labyrinth unless it's really tough to get through. I want Mikey to get lost in it. I'll start by branching it out. There we go. This side is a dead end. This side is the way to go. If you walk in and turn left, you'll be on your way to the end. Okay. Hmm. Labyrinth building isn't easy, but it's still worth doing. I want to make it interesting. How should I do it? Perfect! This is what I've built so far. If you walk in and turn right, you'll bump into a dead end. If you go left, which is the correct way, it'll lead you to the first trap. I wonder what kind of trap I should build. First, I need to make the labyrinth narrower around here. There we go. It's one block narrower than in the beginning. You might be wondering why I'm making it narrower. Well, that's because of my trap. I'll use these for my trap. Sticky pistons. You'll see why these are important. The main thing I'm trying to do with this trap is to seal him off. Once he gets past this point, there's no turning back. He'll be stuck wandering in the labyrinth until he solves it. Okay. One minute. I need to hook up the sticky pistons from this side. Looking good. Now I need to place the pressure plates. First, there has to be a redstone circuit underground. Almost done. I'm bringing the redstone circuit out to here. Oh, I messed up. I don't need sticky pistons, just regular ones. That does it for this side. Now to do the other side. I need to set up the trap over there. First things first, I have to connect the redstone circuit all the way across the walls. This should be redstone. Will that work? I'm hooking it all together. Okay, perfect. Now that the circuit is covered, it's time to place the pressure plates. As soon as Mikey steps on top of one, he'll... Huh? Maybe that was the wrong one. Let's try this pressure plate instead. Finally, now it's working. These updated pressure plates will activate the pistons when you walk over them. Last but not least, I should cover up the pistons with iron blocks so they blend in. Let's test them out really quickly. It worked! The first trap is complete. This one will make Mikey really nervous once he sets it off. Before I move on, I should adjust this wall so that it's symmetrical with the other one. There we go. That looks a lot better. Now then, what's next? Okay. I have an idea. The next trap will be a little room that Mikey gets stuck inside. It's up to him to get out of there. That's big enough. Okay, time to do the floor. Hmm. 
Wonderful, I'm ready to go. The second trap will be a monster spawn pit. In order to build that, I'm going to place a trap chest in the center of the room. I'll leave Mikey with some decent equipment to fend for himself. Maybe a full set of iron armor will do. Plus a few enchanted golden apples to top it all off. There we go. I'll throw in some regular apples too. It's important to give Mikey some goodies so that the monsters I spawn don't completely annihilate him. As soon as he opens this chest, he'll be in big trouble. Maybe it should go on the side. That's better. The chest will go up against the wall. That way, I can do this. Now when he opens... Huh? It's not working. Hmm, there we go. It worked. When the trap chest opens, the circuit will activate. Just a minute. That should do it. I need to set up a comparator. What comes next? I know. I'll hook up a dispenser, then fill the dispenser with husk spawn eggs. It's genius! I should rewire this. As soon as Mikey opens this trap chest, he'll have a whole horde of husks after him. Let's test it. Three, two, one, open. Huh? Oh, right, the positioning's off. I can fix this. I have to move the husks out of the way. There, that's better. As you can see, I moved the dispenser a little bit to the left. Now when it opens, the room will fill up with husks. Uh-oh, I might have gone a little overboard. We don't want infinite husks. I should limit it to five. That should be enough. Once Mikey enters, the walls will close behind him so he can't leave. Then, when he opens the chest, he'll get some solid equipment, but he'll have to fight a horde of husks. Eventually, once he defeats five husks, a door will appear. Okay, I need the walls to be a bit higher. There, perfect. Next, I'll build the secret door. I'm using more pistons. This is the layout I want. Hmm, I'll put a platform here. Some redstone. That should do it. Perfect. The secret door is complete. I think I'll add a secret button up here. The door will open when the husks are defeated and the button is pushed. The last thing I need to do is cover it up with iron blocks. Mikey should have no problem defeating the husks and finding the button. Once he does that, he'll be able to move on to the next part of the labyrinth. Now what should I do next? Let's see. Mikey will have been stuck in that room for a while, so I think the next challenge should be parkour. Oh, it looks like Mikey's come a long way on his labyrinth. I bet he's building something exciting. I can't wait to see what it is. I don't want to ruin the surprise, so I'll do my best to ignore him. Besides, I'm still busy working on my own labyrinth. I just had an awesome idea. I'll do a TNT parkour course. Mikey will have to sprint across a pathway of falling TNT. I'll start by using a command to make a giant pit. One sec. From here. Whoa, yes, pit complete. There's still a long way to go though. Like that. All right, I did it! This room will set the stage for TNT parkour. I'll make a platform here for Mikey to stand on. Now to prep the command blocks. Let's see. 
1482616. I'm going all the way over here. There. Yes. Now I'll input a command into the command block. Let's see. All done. One more. The next layer is sand. Okay. On the top layer, I'll put stone pressure plates to activate the trap. There! Finally, I'll cover it and throw a reset button on top. It's probably a good idea to test it out. One step anywhere and the ground will fall out from under you. Go! You gotta keep jumping, otherwise you'll fall down into the void beneath the pressure plates. Whoa, that was fun! If you fail, you can just hit the button to reset it and try again. This is the ultimate TNT course. I'm just making one quick adjustment so you can see the void better. There we go. I'm feeling good about this one. I'd say that the TNT parkour section is complete. If Mikey makes it through here, I'll have him pick between three doors. It's less of a labyrinth scenario and more of a crossroads scenario. He'll need to decide which way he wants to go to escape the labyrinth. I'll start by clearing out the floor. What next? I'll extend this section a bit more. Now then. What kind of door should I use for these crossroads? I want to design three unique doors for this section. How about this? I'll have a mix of dirt, gold, and diamond. These look great. Now to place them. First the dirt door, then the gold door, and then the diamond door. Whoa, check it out! Cool, huh? I should border the dirt door with dirt. That's way better. There we go. Dirt, gold, and diamond. But only one of them will be the correct path. It's up to me to decide which one is which. I'll make the dirt the correct option because it seems the most unlikely compared to the others. That means the gold and diamond doors will have to be booby-trapped. I better get started. I'll take care of the gold door first. This one's gonna be pretty simple. the gold room. I'll keep it small. As you can see, there's not a lot going on here yet. I'm placing a command block in the center. It'll be the main tool for this trap. The goal is to drop anvils from the sky onto Mikey. I'll drop the anvils from 50 blocks up in the sky. That should work. Let's see. The anvils are good to go. All I need to do is place a pressure plate and it's done. Mikey will walk through the front door to look around and then... BAM! Anvils will fall from the sky and smash down on his head. It's simple, but effective. That does it for the gold room. It's time to see what we can do with the diamond room. For this one, I want to make a villager transformation trap. That means I'll need to carve out a small room where Mikey will come across a villager. I'd like to have a nice wide room to set the stage. Okay. As for the floor, I'm probably going to use cobblestone. I think that would look nice. I want Mikey to feel at home. There. Now that the floor's done, I'm going to make it look like a typical interior of a villager's house. Let's get moving. So far, so good. At first glance, it looks like a real villager's house, doesn't it? I'll have a proper window on each of the walls. Here's the twist, though. It won't be a villager in here. It'll be a werewolf. He'll look like a regular villager when Mikey first arrives. I can't wait to see the look on Mikey's face when he finds out this villager is actually a werewolf. 
But first, I need to finish building the trap. For that, I need to build a special mechanism. I'll build a hole underground where I can spawn a werewolf. Perfect. Now then... The villager will be standing right above it. I'll put a forbidden button up against the wall over here. Done. Okay. The button has a do not push sign. To make it stand out, I'll put a barrier block inside of an item frame. I want this button to seem forbidden. All right, I still need to set up the rest of the trap, starting with this. Hmm, how should I do this? That should work. I've implemented a command that will replace this villager with a werewolf. All Mikey needs to do is push this button, then the villager will transform and take Mikey down. Mikey might have a chance at beating the werewolf with the equipment I gave him earlier. Now that the golden diamond doors are finished, I need to get started on the correct choice, the dirt door. What should come next in this labyrinth? Since this path is the only way to go, I want to lead him away from this section. I'll need a wall. Okay, I'm rolling out the red carpet so he knows he made the right choice. This way! Now for the next area. I want this one to be a dash straight to the goal. This will be the final obstacle. Why don't I start with this? There, much better. Now for the rest. I'm clearing out the floor. This is gonna be a one-way trip to the void. Almost done. Check it out. I made an ice skating rink. I'll leave a chest here and fill it up with boats. You can grab a boat, then hop inside to slide across. It's an ice skating obstacle course. The only thing that's missing are the obstacles. I don't wanna make it too easy for Mikey to slide across. I wonder how he feels about lasers. I'm putting up a wall of lasers halfway through the ice rink. One on this side. Perfect! Now you have to slide across without hitting anything. You wouldn't want to fall off into the void either. All I need is one more obstacle. What should it be? I'm making a platform along the side, then fencing it off with iron bars. There we go! It's a guardrail! I'm gonna make a matching guardrail along the top, too. Okay, next, I'm spawning an army of skeletons on the platform. Mikey will need to dodge their arrows while he slides across. Uh-oh, they're catching fire! That's not good. I don't want to burn them up. Oh well, the skeleton obstacle is finished. There are still plenty of skeletons left. Now I need to make an opening for the goal. It'll be right at the end. But before I do, there's one final obstacle I want to build. There, you cross over to find a pool of lava. Then after that, Yes! Check it out! Whoa, that's amazing! Once you make it past the obstacle course, you arrive at this giant iron tower. I should wall it off to keep it inside the labyrinth. I can't have Mikey escaping so close to the end. It's done. 
These walls are good to go. You'll have to jump across. There's the entrance. Perfect. That isn't too hard. Time to take a quick trip up the ladder to the next floor. And at the top of the ladder, a heavy door. Whoa, that's impressive. Hmm. Now this side. You just climb the ladder, then open the hatch. Next, I'm gonna build something super special. Check this out. Epic! Almost there. Now it's time to fill it with water. I'm putting a redstone circuit on top. Last but not least, the button. Let's try it out. Whoa! 78? Nice! I built a TNT cannon that launches you all the way up to this ledge. I'm gonna pad the landing with some slime blocks to prevent fall damage. The landing platform's ready. Now I'll make a ladder from here to the roof. Yes, the top of the tower. I'll put a heavy door up here too. There, all good. I think I'll spawn something crazy up here. One sec. Ta-da! A giant zombie that Mikey has to slay. I'm gonna name him Giant. It's not the most creative name in the world, but oh well. Once Mikey defeats Giant, I'll reward him with an extra special treasure. I'll put the chest by the edge of the roof. Next, I need to figure out what I'm gonna put inside. There, now for the special prize. How about a gotcha machine? Mikey's reward will be one big gotcha. Just a minute. Okay, that's the gotcha machine. Just pull the lever. Everything's almost ready. All right, that should do it. 
As soon as Mikey pulls the lever, all the rewards will come spilling out. What should I fill it with? Why not diamonds? They are Mikey's favorite. Not only will it have diamonds, but it'll have diamond blocks too. They'll be lumped together, just like a real gotcha machine. All right, I'm done. My labyrinth is finally finished. I wonder if Mikey's finished his labyrinth too. Let's go. It looks like Mikey's wrapped up his labyrinth. Great. That means it's my turn to see if I can get through it. Sorry, but you'll lose. Hmm? It's extremely difficult. Be careful. Is that so? I can't wait to see it. I'm going in. Good luck. It's so straight. Yep. Hmm? What's this? Why did they all say stop? Careful! Maybe you should stop. I did stop. How come? There's a hint right in front of you. Do you see it? It might help you out. This lever? That's right! Why don't you give it a pull? I guess I could. Three, two, one. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I caught you! You're trapped, JJ! Wait, is this a pitfall trap, Mikey? Yep. Game over! Really? <laughs> In Minecraft, you can only jump one block high. I'm stuck! Yep, the stop signs were a clever trick. Hold that thought, Mikey. I think I've discovered a way out. That's impossible! Watch this. Hmm. If I pull this lever while I'm jumping, I can get back up. Huh? No way! The pistons stick out. I can use them to climb up. You escaped! What? Whoa! Ow! Phew! For a second there, I thought it was game over. That was close! Aww. Oh well. You broke out of the trap. Wow. Let's move on. Oh, a chest. What's in here? Look. There's an iron sword, an iron helmet, and bread. I'll put the helmet on. Nice. Hmm. I have an iron sword, too. Keep going. I'm on my way. What's waiting behind these doors? Huh. Whoa, this place is epic. What is it? Hmm. You'll see. Interesting. Take a look. Oh. What? I need a lever to reach the other side. There must be one nearby. Maybe. I'll check in these chests. They all look like they're trapped, though. That's right. I'll open them in order. <gasps> Watch out! Wow, that scared it's me. It's a real-life jack-in-the-box. Got it. That one was a dud. Hopefully there's something better in here. Not another jack-in-the-box. Too bad for you. Open. Wow, you're going fast. More rotten flesh? Slow down. Which one is it? Come on. Keep it up. Wow. Hang on, I just realized something. This one's not a trapped chest. Seriously? It's this one. Nice. I'm opening it. Ready? Open. A lever. Wow, good job. Mm -hmm. I guess it was easy. I've got the lever. I'll put it in here and open. Time to move on. Whoa, cool. Good luck. This place is awesome. It's a lava parkour course, right? This one is super tough. I can tell. Careful. One slip and I'm a goner. Yikes. Keep going. Almost there. Look out. Yes. No way! I did it! That was a lot of fun! Good parkour course, Mikey. What now? Yes. I have to choose pumpkin or diamond? Huh. <laughs> one is right and one is wrong. That's how it works. Which door looks better to you? Choose one. Hmm. I feel like it's pumpkin. Who knows? Yep, 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 yep. Your pick. Mikey's standing next to the diamond door. I'll pick that. Great! Three, two, one, open! Whoa, wrong choice! <laughs> gotcha! Zombies! How are you doing? Well, they're not holding back. Hang on, there's a treasure chest back there. Maybe if I slay all the zombies and then open the chest, I'll find a big reward. Try it! I'll slay them with my iron sword, just like that. Victory! Impressive! Time to open the chest. Three, two, one. Open! Huh? After all that effort, all I got was rotten flesh? No way! You picked the wrong door, JJ! Turn around! I'm heading back. After all those zombies, all I got was rotten flesh. Time for the pumpkin door. 
go for it. What's behind here? Let's find out. Three, two, one, open. Go! Wow! Yikes! Surprise! Oh, it's full of snow golems. Yep. That really caught me off guard. Woohoo! The path doesn't end here. Three, two, one, open. Hmm? What's up? There's an enormous ladder out here. You got it! But what else is up there? One step at a time. Before I climb up, I should check out this chest. Oh, sweet! Finally, some good loot! Wow! You loaded it up with everything! Boots, a chest plate, a helmet, and leggings! Plus, there's a diamond sword and golden apples! Awesome! Does this mean there's something dangerous up there? Wouldn't you like to know? Climb up! Okay! You're almost done! Hey, I'm going up in the world! Yep! What could be up there? I mean, besides the gold. Maybe Mikey gave me this diamond armor for a reason. Who knows? There's only one way to find out. Come on! You got this! Alright. Look out! Whoa! Ouch! <laughs> Hang on! How do I get up? Huh? How? Try again! Wither skeletons! <laughs> oh no, that was a close one. I would have been toast if I didn't have this ladder to grab onto. You're doing great, JJ! Keep going! They're so strong, though. How am I supposed to climb up? There! No! No! Oh! <gasps> One more try. Sure! I have to attack from here. Get him! Seriously, this is super tough. Hey, I got one! Another golden apple. There we go. I got this. You haven't won yet, JJ! Don't worry. I can knock him off. Whoa! Nice! Whoa! I did it! Great work! I'll need a quick golden apple to recover my health. Is this the treasure, Mikey? Yep. I'm looking forward to this. Three, two, one, open! Whoa! Diamonds! That's an epic prize! You earned them. The end was pretty difficult, but I managed to reach the goal. Now it's time for Mikey to take a stab at my labyrinth. Let's go! Okay. Next up, Mikey's gonna tackle my creation. Whenever you're ready. You did a great job, JJ. But now it's my turn. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it splits. Pick a direction. Mm. There's not that much of a choice. There's nothing over here. This is easy. Nice. A treasure chest. Oh. Let's go! You found it. Huh? Wait a sec! I'm trapped! That's right! Huh? There's no turning back now, Mikey! Seriously? That's intense! Hmm. You're stuck inside this room. Why don't you check out the treasure? Good idea! Go ahead, Mikey! Ready? I bet it's full of goodies! Ah! Be careful! Stop that! Get away from me! There's still more treasure, Mikey! I can't reach it! Grab the golden apples! <laughs> Hang in there! It's a husk, baby! How did that get in there? Help me! I almost beat them! You're so close! I can do it! Take that, you rotten husks! Yes! Nice work! Did I get them all? I'm still trapped! Yep. Aww. If you look around, you might find a way to escape. Huh. I'm sure you'll find it soon. Nice! That looks out of place. Can I push it? Go ahead! I'm doing it! Three, two, one! Oh! What just happened? Huh? You found it! Oh, cool! This is the way out! <laughs> yeah. Wait. Welcome to the next area. You're doing great! What's this? It's a test of speed. Got it! Like this? Whoa, awesome! You're doing it! Nice! If you look back, you'll see the floor is covered in pressure plates. Every time you step on one, it falls into the void. I can't believe you beat it in one try! Yay! That was fun! Okay. Hmm? Three doors. Dirt? Yep. Gold? Diamond? Yep. That's it? Yep. Which door should I choose? Any of them. Hmm, I'm not sure. Choose wisely. Hmm. Maybe it's the gold one. I'll take the middle path. Not diamond. <laughs> and not dirt, either. So you've decided on gold? That's right. Whatever you want. Hopefully you're right about it. Three, two, one, open! Hmm? Hmm? What? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> My golden apple saved me! 
What was that? Wow, I didn't think you would survive the anvils. They're falling from the sky! Yeah! Ouchie! As soon as you enter, the anvils drop down. They broke your helmet! Oh yeah, it's gone! Ha. Oh well. All right, Mikey, what's your next choice? Dirt or diamond? Can I peek? No way! I'll use x-ray vision! <laughs> Good luck! That's impossible! Make up your mind! I choose the diamond door! Oh! I got a good feeling about this one! Nice! If I move fast enough, I'll be fine no matter what happens! I can handle anything! Wait a second, there's nothing in here! Just a villager! Yep, it's a totally normal villager relaxing in his own home! Why isn't he trading with me? Who knows? I feel like the villager has a clue. Uh. Hmm. Aha! I knew I'd find something. Oh, you found the button. Do not push. Strange. I really want to push it. There's nothing stopping me. Well, it is up to you. Uh. Okay. Hmm? Push. Oh. Nothing's happening. <laughs> hey! What's going on? Wow! My werewolf trap was way stronger than I thought! <sighs> now you know to avoid the diamond door! Yeah! That was a mistake! Freaky! He's still trapped in there, right? Whoa! <laughs> when you push the button that said, do not push, it turned the villager into a werewolf! I see. Does that mean it's dirt? Yep. The correct door was the dirt door. Three, two, one, open! Oh, what's this? You rolled out the red carpet for me! Thank you! Wow! Yep, the red carpet! Huh? huh? Hmm? Whoa! Hey, Mikey, why don't you take a look in that chest? That's a good idea! Open! Oh! Boats! Oh! Oh! Climb in and try not to hit any obstacles! Wow! Have fun! Thanks! Go! Okay, I'm off! Ow! Danger! Hmm? You fell off! No way! Try your best not to fall off the sides. Good advice. You got this. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm doing it! Nice work! Ah, this is hard! Whoa! I lost! One more. Here I go! Great! Yes! Ow! Huh? How did you do that? You passed right through the lasers! I have no idea how that worked! I feel like the lasers should have hit you, but they didn't! I know! Careful with the lava, you're almost there! Whoa! Climb to the top! What's this? Oh! Wow! You're almost there! What's this for? Look up! Is that the goal? I'm so close! Yep, good luck! Here goes nothing! Way, I fell! One more! Ready? All right! Wait! Here I go! I got it this time! Whoa! Huh? I'm alive! This is it! Yeah! I'm gonna make it! Whoa! Yes! Congrats! You did it! Yay! You! In one sec! Okay! JJ? That's hard! Yeah! Okay, Mikey, the goal is right there! Awesome! I wonder what I'll find! More treasure, maybe! I can't wait! You're in for something really awesome! Woohoo! Yes! Huh? No! Huh? What? Whoa! It's... Huh? The boss! Wham! Get it! Take Mission accomplished! You beat the boss so easily! He was kinda weak! That was epic! It's time to collect your prize for beating the labyrinth, Mikey! The gotcha machine has your prize! Alright, I'm gonna pull the lever! 3, 2, 1! Whoa! No way! So much treasure! Those diamonds are your prize, Mikey! This is incredible! Let's wrap things up! We had a labyrinth competition! We both managed to defeat each other's labyrinths. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye!